Hey, volunteer fans, welcome to Chrono Cord Sports. I am C Dub along with JC. This is our 2016 Outback Bowl review and a general look back at the season for the Tennessee Volunteers. Of course, the Vols were dominant today in Tampa at Raymond James. Big win over Northwestern, 45 to 6. JC. The Tennessee Volunteers played a complete game today and really put it on Northwestern. C-Dub, as I was watching the game, I was thinking to myself, what team here should really be ranked 12 and what team should really be ranked 23? Tennessee really set a physical tone early in the game. They got a few unsportsmanlike conduct penalties there, but I think that physicality somewhat intimidated Western. Absolutely, JC. This, of course, was a meeting between a Big Ten conference team and SEC in Tennessee, and it looked like to me that the SEC and the Vols dominated the Big Ten Northwestern Wildcats. Great day for Joshua Dobbs, Jalen Hurd, Volunteers defense. We even saw a really, really great interception for a touchdown by Evan Berry at the close of the fourth quarter to make it 45 to 6 for that final score. I was very, very proud, and this was a nice way to ring in the new year for the Volunteers and the Big Orange Faithful all over. Yeah, let's break down Joshua Dobbs' performance. He didn't have a lot of passing yards. He didn't even throw a touchdown. He did have two rushing touchdowns and a lot of nice runs to get third down conversions, stepping up when the team needed him the most. And of course, Jalen Hurd, I would think both of our pick for the MVP of the Outback Bowl. He was running over Northwestern, getting extra yards after contact. I mean, he was a beast today. The big orange bulldozer rushed on 24 attempts on the day for 130 yards, one touchdown, averaging five and a half yards per play with a long run of 24 yards. The key is with Hurd is it's a death by a thousand cuts scenario. He'll just keep bruising you up the middle and getting two, three, four yard gains. And as long as Tennessee can continue to use Hurd in that fashion next year, that's going to be a key component of their offense. I was also really impressed by Alvin Kamara coming in in relief of Hurd. He also had a touchdown run, so nice to see the depth in the running game there for the Vols. Let's talk about the defense a little bit, man. They were all over Northwestern. They allowed 261 total yards and picked off their quarterbacks four times. They also had four sacks. I mean, Barnett was all over the field. Reeves Mabin as well, getting some crucial tackles to prevent Northwestern from really doing anything all day. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, that big 100-yard pick six by Evan Berry at the close of the fourth quarter, that was incredibly impressive. He has had a fantastic year on special teams, kick returns. The guy is just an animal. And I got to say, another play that really stood out to me was one where Josh Dobbs actually fumbled after the snap and ended up turning it around for a touchdown. He just sprinted right for the end zone, could not be stopped. Josh Dobbs showed a lot of poise. However, to be fair and to bring up some of the criticisms I have of the volunteer team is that our passing game is still not quite where I'd like it to be. If we can elevate our skills in the passing department, I think think that Tennessee will be able to use that as they have the running game this year as a real threat to some of these top caliber teams. The big crowd in Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, a lot of orange was in there, C-Dub. Nice showing for the Vol Nation. They were getting very loud at times. Absolutely, JC. You know that Big Orange Nation had to show up in Tampa at Ray J. Hopefully, folks, we will be seeing you again this time next year at Raymond James Stadium as the 2017 National Championship game will be held there in Tampa Big expectations for the Vols next season, and hopefully we can see them in a playoff appearance with a chance to get to that title game. Some really, really good news to come out of this victory for the Vols C-Dub comes from Outback Steakhouse. Tomorrow, Saturday, January 2nd, we're going to have free blooming onions, so get them while you can, people. Congratulations to the Northwestern squad. They had a great season. I think they just ran into a better prepared team from the SEC. Another Big Ten loss here in the bowl games for Northwestern on top of that Michigan State complete butt whooping in the college playoff. 
and also poor Florida getting demolished by Michigan. So it's nice to see the Vols get a win and represent the SEC. Overall, such a dominant performance. I mean, the defense held that quarterback to uh, 50 yards passing and all around the board, a great performance, special teams as well. So hats off to Butch Jones. Hats off to Team 119. We'll see you next season. Go Vols. Indeed, JC. This season for Team 119 in Knoxville saw a lot of high expectations in the beginning, a lot of hype. Perhaps with those close losses that were suffered early on in the season, we didn't quite get to get the ending for the season we would have liked to have. However, looking forward to next season, I believe that Team 120 will have that game experience and maturity to be able to compete for the SEC and hopefully a berth in the national championship playoff. For now, folks, that's it for this season in Tennessee football. Outback Bowl champions. We want to thank everyone here for viewing Chrono Chord Sports and sticking around, all you Vol fans, for the entire season. We're going to be back next year covering Team 120 in depth. I'm greatly looking forward to attending the battle at Bristol in September. Tennessee Vols versus Virginia Tech Hokies with 150,000 people expected to attend. It's going to be a great year to be a Tennessee Vol as always. For JC, I'm C-Dub. Rocky Top, you'll always be home sweet home to me.